All right. So the banks, the banks, uh, there's two banks, one in Switzerland, one in Germany, and they're starting to get into crypto. What's going on? So this first one, it's called Border and CSCMA, one of Switzerland's oldest bank institution now provides crypto trading services. That's the whole story. Really, that's it. Um, we'll go in a little bit depth, but uh, just know that banks aren't known for much innovation, as you can probably tell, and you know, just go to any bank, even mine. Uh, but when they get into something like this, this is big, and they've actually moved quite fast. And there was an article uh, rolled out by Alex Maschioli, and this was, uh, this was a months ago uh, when uh, Brian Brooks, the OCC, had said that banks would be allowed to custody. And he's like, they're not going to jump into that. And they didn't for a while, but I mean, here we are. So uh, Bordier, Bordier, Bordier says it's partnering with Signum Bank to incorporate its B2B business-to-business -business banking platform into the firm's infrastructure. This allows Bordier clients to buy, hold, and trade crypto assets on an execution-only basis, which means that Signum will only provide a platform for trading and storing crypto and will not offer financial advice to clients. That's great because they give bad advice anyhow. I mean, if you look at JP Morgan, they just came out and said, hey, Maybe you guys should put in 1% into your portfolio. And you're like, geez, thanks. Wish that would have, you would have told us that about that, I don't know, three years ago. Anyhow. So, uh, Bordier, this was interesting. Bordier currently supports Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Bitcoin Cash, and Tezos, which when I was reading this, I thought it was just going to be Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, and Litecoin, just the same as PayPal. But the last one for Litecoin was switched with Tezos. And I'm wondering, is it because of the smart contract functionality or why did they pick that one? That would be an interesting topic to talk about. Maybe I'll get somebody from the bank to come on the show. I doubt it. Uh, and to finish up, it says, we have seen increasing demand from our clients to diversify. Oh, sorry. This is why this is done. This wasn't done because they're like, this is a good idea. This is just goes back to what I was talking about. You have clients and these clients want something and you give them that thing. It's a, it's a simple, like I said, very simple thing. This is what the bank did. It said, hey, you guys want crypto? We'll make it happen. And they have crypto. And that's pretty much the whole statement right there. So on top of this one, uh, you also have uh, Germany's Solaris Bank launches licensed crypto brokerage. Now, this to me is a better business model. It's a just a be better business model for, for retail and even institutions as well. So German fintech firm Solaris Bank is building on its regulated crypto custody service with a brokerage and trading API. See, they've already moved into the custody service, which is great for them. And they knew if we can get into custody and we can figure out you know, the regulations for that, we can roll out some other type of product by trading and selling or just like a broker model, uh, like what Voyager has or like what Swissborg has. And let me tell you, um, Voyager is doing pretty good and Swissborg is doing really good. I am going to have uh, Alex, uh, CEO of Swissborg on next week. And I'm going to talk to him about this whole broker model and how it's working out pretty great in Europe. And I, and I was actually thinking about this today. I was thinking out loud. I thought, you know what? You know, 2017 was like the year of the ICO. Tons of ICOs, right? And then 2018 was just a huge dip. And 2019 was the year of the reset. And 2020 was like the whole halving thing. I'm starting to think that 2021, which was supposed to be the year of DeFi, and I think it still it still is really, it, it could be the year of the DeFi, NFT, and utility tokens or brokerage tokens because you see things like Binance Coin going crazy, uh, OKB, um, Huobi token, uh, Voyager token, Swissborg is is making moves, and now we have another broker who's you know coming. In. Now, get, granted, they they may or may not be a token, but I just thought to myself, I'm like, you know, the big winners right now are really like the tokens that actually do stuff like a utility token. Just food for thought. Anyhow, Solaris Bank, which provides Samsung, among other companies, with a range of APIs for digital banking and payments, announced Thursday it will offer fiat to crypto trading and instant settlement from within its custody solution. So these guys already know what's going on. They already uh, have Samsung and a ton of other companies as far as API integration. So like, let's just do crypto. And sure enough, they are. And then lastly, it states uh, custody is the first step into crypto for large regulated firms which has been happening recently with the likes of BNY Mellon and Standard Charter making announcements. And this last comment is a couple of things, made me think, because you know you have BNY Mellon, which is the oldest bank in America. They said, you know what? We're gonna start with custody. We can custody crypto, no big deal. And for a lot of people, some people say, oh, you shouldn't custody help the bank's custody because they're evil and blah, blah, blah. Well, look, not everybody's like us, right? Nobody's like me, nobody's like you, and they wanna go and figure out a ledger or a Tezor and sit down and, and uh, you know, hopefully write down the mnemonic phrase and not lose it and then deal with, you know, the five kids and the two jobs and the social life and everything else. Like, you know what? I don't care. 
somebody do this for me and let me get in the game. Great. Have BNY Mellon do it or other banks do it. I'm okay with that. It's fine. But if you look at what this article has talked about, I said, look, BNY Mellon's getting into it. Uh, the German bank, Swiss, Swiss bank. I think as we start to see more banks just put their toes in the water and they say, hey, let's do a little custody. Now let's do a little trading. Let's do a little brokerage. And before you know it, um, the banks, which I thought were going to get blockbustered, come around. They got a whole new bag. They got a whole new uh, repertoire of what they could actually do. And uh, it just makes sense for them because, look, we're moving this way. Unless they like it or not, these are the things uh, that are going to move everything forward. And if you're not involved right now, I think it's a mistake. So you watching this video right now, you are super early. And I've always said this, people say, oh, I'm late. You're not late. Go on the street and talk to anybody. Do you know what Bitcoin is? Yeah, some will probably say yes. Do you know what Ethereum is? Do you know what Cardano is? Do you know what XRP is? Do you know what Tomato Coin is? They have no idea what you're talking about, especially Tomato Coin. So like to talk about this and these banks just getting in here, you are super early. Can you imagine what it's gonna be like in five years? <laughs> I don't know either. Anyhow, uh, that's it for today. So, hey, if you made it all the way to the end, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, a lot of things we uh, talk about are time sensitive. So hit the subscribe button. I'll let you know what's going on. And uh, also, I'll link two more videos on the left and right so you can uh, watch uh, something that you might be interested in. All right, that's it for today. Thanks so much. See you on the next one.